Released in 1991 for the Sega Genesis, Street of Rage is an amazing side-scroller beat-em-up made by Sega themselves. It was originally an arcade game. And the whole story behind Streets of Rage is that you're basically like this young police force trying to clean up the corrupted city of, um, what, whatever this place is. The controls here are fairly simple. You use the B button to punch or kick, depending on just wherever you are on the screen or how close you are to the enemy or something. Uh, C lets you jump, and A lets you call in the police force, which is what that little S times zero is up on the, um, about the middle of the screen there. Let's you call in the police force, and they shoot this missile that comes in and uh, damages all the enemies on screen, which I accidentally used earlier, because, once again, I'm an idiot! And I think something should be said about the music in Streets of Rage, really. Something should be said about the music in every Sega Genesis game. I mean, listen to this stuff. I still don't feel like I have my TV volume turned up enough, but oh well, maybe I'll get that right someday. Would I recommend this game to anyone? Yes, in fact, I would make this the reason to buy a Sega Genesis. Uh, it looks like it's a standard side-scroller beat-em-up, and that's really what it is, except it's got amazing Genesis music. Uh, these games, of course, and Sega entirely, was really marketed towards people my age, so of course that's gonna have some effect on my opinion of this game, but, I mean, who doesn't want to play a game where you're, you know, running around the streets beating chicks in, like, red skippy uniforms with whips? This is Streets of Rage on the Sega Genesis. If you have a Genesis, go buy this game immediately. If you don't have a Genesis, go buy a Genesis and this game immediately. It's that good. Streets of Rage.